Hey everybody, welcome back to your Week in Geekdom. Geo here, and today we're doing a double header. We're doing two first impressions video on recently released manga. Let's do this. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone, and yeah, I was only going to do a video on Phantom Seer, and then before recording this, I found out about high school family Kokosei Kazuko. I hope I said that right, but I probably didn't. It's uh, Both are new series that debuted on Shonen Jump, and I decided to read the first two chapters for each and bring you my thoughts on them on this video. Just some quick informations, obviously, first impressions. Uh, we're just getting started with these, but I am pretty excited about them. Uh, the first one that I wanted to talk about is Phantom Seer. This is from the creative team of Togo Goto and Kento Matsuda, and it stars the character of Ritsu Aibetsu, this high school girl that has sort of these premonitions and psychic-like abilities where she's able to warn others of incoming danger and react accordingly. She's saved lives and and she believes it's a gift in order to protect people. However, that may not be entirely true. You see, there's another character, this loner, eccentric character called Yori Katanagi, who has information for Riku that turns her life upside down. It turns out that her abilities aren't necessarily a gift. They're more of a side effect of being... Uh, sort of like this uh, beacon of sorts to phantoms or otherworldly spirits or paranormal entities that want to, uh, I guess, kill and consume humans. And she just happens to be the target of a lot of them. So when accidents are happening, it's usually because they're targeting her, not that she's perceiving something else. So that's sort of plays into one of the themes of the story so far in the first two chapters where when your expectations don't necessarily line up or meet with reality. However, you shouldn't downgrade your dream. You should still go forward with it, but being aware of what really is happening, if that makes any sense to you guys. Overall, I really like the series so far. I love the character designs. The art at times can be simple to look at, but it becomes really nice and badass when you see all the supernatural action and the phantom designs, which I thought were pretty freaking fantastic. The character of Riku and Yori are well designed that you are able to distinguish them from the rest of the high school students, because that's usually a thing. You know, there's, uh, it's in a school, a lot of kids are gonna look alike, but for our two main characters, uh, you know, uh, right away who they are. Uh, there's also a couple characters introduced, like Iori's sister, who is renowned worldwide as this powerful shaman. I don't know if they mentioned worldwide, I'm probably making that up, but let's just say she's super famous, and uh, she is extremely creepy looking, but really interesting. I like the design with her bandaged eyes and all that stuff, so I'm really looking forward to knowing more about her. Also, Riku's ability to uh, grow is going to be really interesting. I don't want to necessarily spoil things because it's only two chapters, but the the things that she goes through just early on are pretty uh, intense, and the monster ghost designs, like I mentioned, are pretty freaking spectacular and easily the highlight of this manga for new readers. If you want sort of paranormal action, but not necessarily the standard shonen uh, or battle shonen route, it, it's different in its own right. And obviously, uh, the, the interaction between the two characters is obviously going to pull a lot of people in and to see how it progresses. Because you have the character of Yori, who is powerful in his own right, and you know that he's gone through some really heavy stuff, but he's sort of walking away from all that stuff and helping others, and is more uh, interested in helping himself and just trying to live a normal life. But as you know, when you're involved in things like this, in, in fictional stories, I mean, you can't really walk away from it. We've seen all these things before. Tropes are being re-explored, I guess, here. But uh, there's enough appeal that I do want to continue, and I think it's a worthwhile series to continue reading. So let me know in the comments section what you thought of Phantom Seer. The other series that debuted is High School Family Kokosei Kazuko, written and illustrated by Nakama Ryo, 
And this is basically a slice of life comedic or gag comedy, as they say. This story follows the character of Kotaro as he is finally entering high school. He's really excited about it, but finds out that his whole entire family is also somehow applying uh, and entering high school on the same day. The whole family is entering high school. That's that's bizarre and wacky and just the amount of deadpan humor that I like. Uh, at first I wasn't too fond of the art, but as I, as I kept reading the story, I, I started loving it for how goofy looking it is and how simple and, and effective. Uh, obviously a lot of the comedic uh, tones in this manga early on, in these first two chapters, uh, relies more on the delivery of the characters and the reaction for Kotaro as he realizes, okay, so I am going to live a very bizarre, unusual high school life. Yay me. We've all gone through that, right? But to have a wacky situation like this, to even have Gomez the cat, which I immediately loved with his little outfit, Gomez and, and the mom, dad, and little sister, they're all <laughs> accompanying him. It's going to be cringy for him, but hilarious for us. So yeah, uh, really simplistic art, but I hope uh, they're able to keep going with it and not just depend on the same jokes of, oh, it's embarrassing because it's my mom and dad and my sis at the school or whatever. I hope they're able to do more with that and introduce more elements or or maybe get the full family involved with the different school activities or clubs. Uh, who knows? There's a, there's a potential there. Uh, also, the art. I know for some people they might look at it and discard it, but I don't know. I, it gives it a very unique charm for such a wacky, bizarre series. But... Uh, what do you guys think? Have you read High School Family? Let me know in the comment section as well. So guys, this was a quick two-in-one review of Phantom Seer and High School Family, first impressions manga. Uh, what do you guys think of both series? And if not, recommend me some other manga that you think I might like that you want me to review. Uh, I'm always open to that. As always, thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of A Week in Geekdom. It truly does mean a whole lot. Thank you once again. If you're subscribed, be sure to hit the little bell icon so you know when new videos pop up. Also, be on the lookout for the next Fable Fridays, where we will be talking about the Vertigo series Fables. This time, we're going to be going over the sixth hardcover. If you're interested in a Week in Geek the merch, or if you want to follow me on social media, all those links down below. All right, for real this time, I gotta go. I will catch all of you on our next video.